and hello again this is all about Google Slides voice typing speaker notes so on screen you can clearly see that it says that my objective actually is for students um, at university at school or the workplace whatever um, maybe wishing to learn to present and talk and remember what they have to say off by heart we're going to show how to voice type the speaker notes and I'm using Windows 10 with Google Chrome and Google Slides and then interesting part is to actually see what you say written down immediately so you say it you see it written and then I'm going to do a little bit on the present the speaker notes so what we can do straight away is do a couple of things the first thing I'm going to do is just go in full screen and of course we know that you can voice type very much um, using Google Docs already I didn't realize like most things that it's available in um, Google Slides so what you actually do is you go to tools and then you can do voice type speaker notes control shift s and then it opens up I'm just talking to you on a standalone microphone but I've also got a headset in to do this so in other words um, you can move the little voice typing thing wherever you wish to and then my example at the bottom here is that when you view say speaker notes um, usually I have these turned off and I don't actually use them a lot um, show speaker notes is here what you can do is click in there and as a example just to say get practice normally when we're, we're doing these things we're not actually speaking out loud at all if I wish to let's give it a little go um, click the microphone Google Slides is a great tool when you are say doing your homework or um, looking at presenting to others to share ideas in a visual form or a written form and then I'm going to turn it off and it's easy as that now I think I said the word form at the end and that didn't work so fair enough let's do that now what you'll see in terms of the practicing is if I wish to present now then I can do that and you see that you are blind almost like you've got your slide but you, you don't know what you said or you, what you wished to say so what you could do is turn on the notes in the normal way and this is really nice because what you can do is if you're on a two screen setup you could be presenting like that and then on the other screen you can have and notice the timer is already out with it and then if you wanted to remember key details which I'll demonstrate in a moment they're in the speaker notes and you can make these as big or as small as you wish to is really interesting because if you're say wandering about a stage or a classroom and you've got say, a two screen setup or whatever and um, you know with the slides on on the big screen then you can actually see from a distance which is, which is really good especially on a good uh, now I wonder how big this thing goes look let's get off of that and let's come out of that and go for a tiny tiny little demo which is quite quite honestly job done um, although we need to, to look at a couple of things one of them is my example presentation and this is where it gets interesting is because I can come in and this is this is just a, a thing privately to me but also a mock-up and I mean I'm quite interested in, in knowledge and information libraries and so the Dewey decimal classification system now you'll notice down here on the bottom and if you wanted to I could actually bring that up to say you know quite big so I could read it anyway so we've got this thing of how do you say to an audience that uh, it was first used in 1876 invented by Melville Dewey in New York how can you actually say that and so you could have an, an example where I could press the space bar and just see what it's written down as so for an example I want to do I want to imagine that I'm talking to the room in the presentation The Dewey Decimal Classification System was invented by Melville Dewey uh, out of New York and it was first used in 1876. And there we have um, classification system invented by York. Now obviously that's not picking up my voice of Melville Dewey or oh, that should be New York isn't it but at least we can kind of get an idea of the way that it, it works I'm not saying that the voice transcription should be perfect but I am saying that um, if you keep on at it when you go up to the top here you could actually present from speaker view if you want and this is a good way to practice you know just as a reminder really is to say that we've got the timer of how long it takes if you want to think about in a separate video um, to start audience questions but of course speaker notes here and just to demonstrate that which is quite an obvious thing it's been around for ages but again this is a reminder of how to use it and that is simply that we can start on this one and start trying to 
test yourself of what you've actually said or these could be small notes rather than typed they're written down uh, by your voice and then as you go to the next slide you can see that the previous and the next and any notes on screen there you go there's there's a an idea and my objective is even as a teacher is to say look hey I need to remember these things because if I'm just looking at the screen and I know all the facts and figures in my head, then I can be fluid with my voice and my presentation and engage the audience rather than reading off of, you know, auto cue screens on the floor or, you know, on a, on a second monitor. It's just um, great. Um, we would have no movies or TV shows if they didn't, the actors didn't learn the lines. And then we can go on to the next and the next and the next and the next. This is a pencil drawing showing two circles and some orange shapes. Yes, it is. Um, and let's finish there, and I want to come out of the presentation and finish somewhere up here. Look, Google Slides voice typing, where you get it as a repetition of before, is voice type the speaker notes, which is really useful because Google Slides is a visual and a vocal thing, is it not? Good luck with it.